video we are going to talk about 3D printing and how 3D printing is going to radically change the world. If you are not excited by 3D printing, it's because you are not thinking big enough. Some technology visionaries who predict that life on earth will soon radically change because of it. According to these futurists, 3D printing will make life as we know it today and barely recognizable in 50 to 75 years. And before going further, let me tell you what 3D printing is. 3D printing or additive manufacturing is a process of making three-dimensional solid object from a digital file. The creation of a 3D printed object is achieved using additive process. In an additive process, an object is created by laying down successive layers of material until the object is created and that's how a 3D printing is done. Now let's see some industries going to change forever by 3D printing. Medical and Dental Industry Perhaps the most immediate and life-affirming industries currently benefiting from 3D printing are the medical and dental industries. The simplest application may be the use of patient's medical imaging data such as CT scan to create a 3D printed medical model. These models can be used to diagnose an illness or even plan and rehearse a surgery thus making a procedure more predictable and reducing time in the operating room. Taking a step further, this data can be used to create patient-specific implants that fit a patient perfectly. When an implant such as carneal plate or hip bone is printed with a pro structure, only possible with 3D printing, it encourages bone growth and make it more quickly accepted by the patient's body. Bioprinting is one of the most fascinating areas of medical 3D printing and while it's still in the early stages, one company is already selling 3D printed livers and kidney cells for drug research. Until complete organs can be made, human tissue cells may speed up time to market for new medications, limit animal research and reduce errors in medications once they are on the shelf. Government, military and academic institutions Where there is technology, you can bet that government and military are involved. Currently, nations worldwide are funding program to advance the state of AM with many currently tackling such issues as quality control in metal 3D printing materials and 3D printing sensors. Because government businesses and research institutions are often instructably connected, weapon companies are on the way to improve metal 3D printing. Meanwhile, at the US Department of Energy, researchers are developing methods for 3D printing carbon fiber reinforced plastics at fast rate and larger scale. In the near future, the US Army hopes to 3D print skin to heal the burn wounds of soldiers using their own stem cells. Body armor and helmets, improved through unique geometries, will be lighter and stronger to protect them in the field of battle at the moment. 3D printing is used to create components for unmanned aerial vehicles. But more terrifyingly, the Department of Defense actually vision 3D printing swarms of micro drones that can perform live surveillance. Aerospace It is also quite difficult to extricate the aerospace industry from the defense industry. There are important developments around 3D printing in commercial aircraft that may change the way we fly and is working on completely rethinking the way that aircraft parts are designed incorporating ever greater numbers of 3D printed parts in the aircraft. The aircraft will also include 2700 non-critical plastic parts from Stratasy and metal components from Materialize. Also considering 3D printing cabin divider with unique topologies to further reduce the weight of the aircraft. As aerospace begins to reach into outer space, we have also seen space agency and some companies use the technology for a variety of purpose often to reduce the weight of rocket or to create unique components. Perhaps more interesting is the idea of 3D printing in space itself. Made in Space has already installed two 3D printers aboard the International Space Station and hopes to send a combination of 3D printer and plastic recycler there in the future. In fact, students can even 3D print aboard the International Space Station in future competition, which aims to drive new space education and technology as a part of the large enterprise in space program. Architecture On an immediate level, 3D printing can be used to produce detailed architecture models rather than rely on past methods for creating models of buildings. 
It is possible to convert standard CAD model used to design structures into 3D printable files. This can be done with simple entry level 3D printers or even high end industrial systems that achieve high level of color and detail. For instance, Wide Clouds, which boasts one of the world's largest full color 3D printing factories, offer a service called 3D Your Plan, with which the firm will 3D print full color architectural models. In the long term, it will become even more possible to 3D print the buildings themselves. The technology is still on the proof of concept stage, with the only 3D printed building actually in use at the moment being the office of the future in Dubai. Numerous endeavors are underway, however, to make 3D printed buildings a widespread reality. In fact, several countries, including the United Arab Emirates and Singapore, are working on incorporating the technology into government strategies for the future of construction. Automotive The automotive industry was an early adopter of 3D printing since its invention as a prototyping technology, allowing auto manufacturers to create designs more quickly. As the technology has evolved, these companies have been the first to jump onto new 3D printing process. For instance, BMW Ford. While 3D printing may not currently be the best technology for large-scale production of end parts, it has made sense for batch production of custom components. But it may also serve luxury automobiles of which only a limited number will be produced. The technology is slowly beginning to transform the entire auto industry as at least two startups are working to make it possible to create entire vehicles with 3D printing. The furthest along is a Local Motors, which has not only 3D printed an autonomous vehicle for local, low-speed transportation, but also promised an entire fleet of 3D printed vehicles to hit the highway in the near future. Divergent 3D has a different model in mind. 3D printing metal nodes that will be used to attach carbon fiber road to assemble a complete auto chassis. Both Local Motors and Diversion 3D believe that our cars will become smarter, as producing each vehicles on demand will allow design to be changed on the fly, while incorporating sensors into vehicles will enable the collection of data for future designs. 3D Footprinting This is really fascinating one and may be shocking too, but it's true. From pixels to printer to plate. Real food straight from the printer. When regular 3D printers print with plastics, the food ink use real food ingredients to create edible products. Real food straight from the printer. Ingredients are loaded into stainless steel capsules. Load them with beef to print out mini burgers. 3D food printing offers a range of potential benefits. It can be healthy and good for the environment because it can help to convert alternative ingredients such as protein from algae, beet leaves or insect into tasty product. It also opens the door to food customization and therefore tune up with individual needs. And food has become 3D printing's new delicious frontier fine dining, but not as you know it. Food Inc. is the world's first restaurant serving 3D printed food with 3D printed utensils at 3D printed tables. If you take a seat to enjoy the cushion, you will be sitting on 3D printed chairs. The company which officially opened in London in July 2016 has been popping up in location all over the world. It prides itself on being a place where fine food intersects with science, technology and futurism.